Hi, good morning. Today we are going to discuss the one of the important concept. Jira interview questions and answers. So total I prepared 31 or 32 questions in Jira interview questions. Most of the cases this interview questions are sufficient to crack the Jira interview. Okay. So the very first question, what is Jira? The basic question it is. So Jira is a product of Atlassian, which is released in 2002. The present, when I am preparing this question, questions here, this is the present stable version, which you have 8.8.1. 26 to 2020 I'm preparing. So this is the present stable version we have. So Jira is an agile project management tool that supports any agile methodology like Scrum, and Kanban or any other also going to support other development process also going to support. Using Jira, we can able to track the progress of current sprint. That is possibilities are there. Using Jira, we can track the pro process which includes epics, user stories, tasks, subtask, and bugs. Now, when you are expecting saying about this point in the interview point of time you should aware of the time now just like what is epic what is user story what is task like this this about this they are going to ask you which i explained already in the second session of the jira tutorial jira tool we can also use for test management and also test cases preparation review on test cases test execution which includes defect management like prioritize, assign, track, and report the bugs. But basically, Jira is not going to provide the, any options to you to go for the test management activities. By default, we can do bug report, bug tracking we can do, but not the test case preparation, test execution status we can't maintain. For the purpose, what we have to do, we have to go for the zip file plugin we have to use for the jira so that we can able to create the test cases in jira the second question when do you prefer scrum and kanban we have the two types of schemas or templates are there in jira scrum and kanban let us see that whenever i am trying to create a new project this is the jira dashboard so project, create project is there. Here also I have an option here. Create project or go to dashboard if you go. Jira dashboard if I go. Here also we are going to get the create project. Existing project showing it is. This is a project already existing one. Now I want to create the new project. Project menu, go for create project. When I try to create a project here, project name asking that, which template do you want? Scrum. If you want to go for the Kanban, you can click on this change template. Kanban, you can select. So, but when the question is asked, when do you prefer Kanban? When we are going to prefer Scrum? The very simple answer for this when we are going to work for the Agile project, means we have to go for the Scrum schema we are going to prefer. Other than Agile process, we have to go for the Kanban we are going to prefer. Like, your company following like V model. We can go for the Kanban schema for the so project management activities. Then what is the difference between Scrum and Kanban? So Scrum, you know that is nothing but agile process explanation. It is time box iteration prescribed. Time box iteration is optional here. Can have separate cadences of planning. So release and process implement like that means it is a one sequence device we can go for the v model sequential approach we discussed development approach such type of approach in the kanban we have here every iteration team is going to commit some specific amount of work there is no commitments like that so uses the velocity as a default metric scrum means velocity as a default how much user story how many user stories are completed there's a metric here there's no such metrics here cross-functional team prescribed 
So Scrum team means developer, tester, designer, this team is going to be there. So, but here can when we have the specialist teams are going to be, development team separate is there. So testing is separate, we will be working here in the Kanban means. So it is must be broken down so they can be completed within one sprint. Items must be broken down. Like we have the sprint wise, no? Sprint one, sprint two, like that. So, but here there is no like that. So burn down chart prescribed to know that how much work is completed, how much work is remaining. For the purpose, we can go for the scrum. So we can use it is right. So here burn down chart prescribed. No particular diagrams are not available. So different roles are there here. PO means product owner, scrum master, team means developer testers. Doesn't prescribe any roles like that. So prescribes a prioritization product backlog. So prioritization is optional here. Everything we have to develop in a sequential manner, we can go for the development of the application. So in simple scrum is preferred. Scrum is nothing but agile process it is. Kanban is nothing but like a waterfall model and V model, such a type of approaches Kanban we are going to say here. These are two types of schemas are available in our Jira also. Next, explain work down culture in Jira. That means how the how we are going to work in Jira. Can you tell your activities in Jira? It's asking that. In general, Scrum Master will create the task and subtask based on user stories or story points in the sprint during sprint planning. Then those are assigned to team, that is developers and testers. So while working on those tasks, we will update in Jira. So what type of updates are there here? So task is created or it is in progress or task is completed. This type of status we are going to update, right? Now the question is asked that if assigned task is taking more than expected time, how will you mention in Jira? This is one of the tricky questions it is. Some task is assigned to you. Initially we planned it within, so four days, working days we are going to complete. Maybe that is taking the more time for us. Then what we have to do, we need to create the subtask for the given task and whatever additional time is required that we are going to specify to the subtask it is. That's why we are going to do it is. So that question they can ask like this, what is the need of subtask in Jira and why it is used? So subtask is a process of splitting the parent issue into smaller tasks. So these small tasks are tracked separately. It is used to distribute the load of task in one single project. A parent task cannot be, that is a previous example, a parent task cannot be completed before completing all its subtasks. Subtasks might have the different issues, types, issue types, but the standard issue remains the same for all. So main task is same, in that we can create the subtask, we can assign the time for that. Explain about sprint workflow in Jira. In Jira, how the sprint workflow? sprint life cycle it described that in which stage tasks are in sprint it is also called as sprint life cycle or jira workflow is defined as a movement of the bug or issue through various stages during its life cycle there are three types of status for issue so there are three types of tasks also here notice that okay there are three types of status for the issue what are this first one is to do so it represents the task need to start in a sprint so in progress when assigning working on given task done when task is completed where it is let us see my here if i go for the, this project i'm doing there is an active sprint suppose an active sprint is there here i have the story it is there's a labeling we are going to call story so if you want to create an issue here see that 
we are going to get the these are the different labels based you can understand what, whether it is a epic or task or like this task story epic different labels are there okay now here you can see my this is the user story is there so in progress is one level done is one level maybe some task is assigned here i want to create one sub task here post retesting create that is sufficient to me so while doing the retesting what i will do here the task is there okay so when process is going on suppose i can move to the in progress so once task is complete retesting is completed i can go for the done then the three stages for the task we have mm -hmm. that's not the question here explain about sprint workflow to do in progress done what is an issue this is one of the important thing in general software testing issue can be referred as a defect or so incident or fault but in jira when you coming to the issue means issue is the building block of the project in jira means it is a building block of the project but in our organization different ways we are going to call depending on how your organization is using jira an issue could represent like this a software bug a project task a help desk ticket a product improvement or leave request from client this all comes under issues okay but in jira means a building block it is now you observe that that's what here when i want to create an issue what are the things i got in jira so issue type what are the issue types are the task story epic test these are the different types of issues issue we don't consider only bug it is it's a building block for the sprint it is okay what can be referred as an issue in jira that is what i just now i shown that in jira issue means it can be epic epic means what is that large requirements which it defined the business needs second one user story or story it defines the smaller requirements where epic can be divided into multiple stories third one the project task task or sub task we are going to there is a project task i give define the solution for every user story we create multiple sub task for each story developers and testers will work simultaneously software bug it is a deviation between expected to actual results in aut right how is an issue created in jira different way simple navigation that i will show it is how we can create i want to create the one issue here there is a create button just already a project i selected in project dashboard so go to create it asking that is a project name what what type of issue do you want to create maybe i want to create the so test case i want to create so if you don't have the zipper addons you are not going to get the test here okay under customer registration this test case to verify customer registration valid inputs customer registration like this now steps we can create later it is okay later we have the, some option for the we have to create so now you want to link these things so which version you want to release already version is this version so prioritization you want to give for test case you can give epic link for which epic related amazon visitor link so sprint which is sprint it is in sprint 2 i have this one click on create these are the linking also we have to give it this like this we can create 
Okay, like this. Like this, we can create. You have to create, select the sprint issue type, and as a summary description, so link the epic, link the sprint. These are the navigation you have to follow for that. Next one. So how do you assign roles in Jira? In general, Jira administrator will go and assign the roles. So in general, so Jira administrator will assign the roles. Okay. Next one. What is linking of an issue in Jira? That's what I shown that linking is very helpful feature in Jira. This will help to in linking an associated of the two issues which can be either belong to the same sprint or or another different sprint it is we can easily link the your issue to the so which sprint belongs to it is epic belongs to it is these things what are the use of comments 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 always will go and helpful for the easy to understand others your team members comments are used to share the issue with other jira user we can mention them in the comment section of an issue or it is a issue described field okay another way of sharing an issue is by emailing the links to the user so by comments you can provide or you can go for the through email also we can provide if you give the assignee you selected like this if you selected assignee suppose i created this subtask is done it's saying that so here assignee is there if i selected assignee name by default this assignee will get the mail will get the mail right so that you can understand it comment section also you can provide if you have this one you can select the comment section here comments add comment like this it's work log so history comments like this from there also we can assign it is the same How do you manage in, in Jira if sprint is not completed? So on sprint we decided 50, within 15 days it has to complete, but unfortunately it is not yet completed. So what we have to, which tasks are not yet completed, what we have to do, we need to move those tasks into the next sprint. That is the generally what we do. So, but sometimes we can leave as incomplete sprint it is. We can leave as uncomplete sprint it is okay so these are the questions we have thank you so please subscribe the channel and if you like it is go for like and share the content to your friends thank you